So in my headphone amp video, I promised that I'd make a quick little tutorial on how I made that plaque, you know, on the front here. Um, and the plaque is actually made out of brass uh, and it's relief. So, you know, I can catch my fingernail on top of the letters. And uh, it's very durable, it's very shiny, it's nice looking. So it's a very good uh, finishing touch to put on almost any project. Now the entire process is kind of uh, labor intensive because uh, there's some sanding to do and you have to deal with um, etchants and various chemicals and things like that. So it's not really for, you know, just uh, the casual DIYer. You have to actually, you know, don't be afraid of doing it, but just kind of plan it through uh, yourself and be very careful when dealing with chemicals that, you know, could hurt you. Like, you know, most etchants, they're not very good for you. And especially not for whatever they get spilled on. Uh, whether it be your hand, which will be, you know, uh, stained a very weird color, or, you know, your furniture, or, you know, God forbid, you know, your girlfriend's clothes or something like that. So, be careful, wear eye protection, wear gloves, and uh, try it out. It's actually not that hard. So let me explain. So, if you're familiar with how PCBs are often made uh, at home, you have toner transfer paper, right? You take your design, you print it out on this toner transfer paper, you iron it or um, laminate it onto your board, and then you drop your board in, you know, your etchant of your choice. The exposed copper then gets eaten away, um, and then you remove the toner that's stuck to your board with, you know, whatever, and then you have an etched board. Well, it's basically the same thing for this. Alright, so basically, step one, print your design in inverse color onto uh, some toner transfer paper. I use this stuff. Um, you can search for it. Uh, it's by Pulsar Professional Effects. Uh, you can get it on DigiKey or, you know, almost anywhere. Um, you could also technically use magazines, but I find those are much harder to use. Spend 10 bucks, get, you know, a pack of these. I've never had to buy another pack and, you know, make a decent amount of PCBs. So step one, print this off. Laser printer, right? Comes out. Step two, take your brass plate. This is actually a circuit board, but, you know, for the purposes of demonstration. Take your design. First, clean off your board, of course, uh, with some scotch bright or something kind of abrasive so it gets all shiny. We're going to stick that on there. Feed it through your laminator a couple times or uh, even iron it on. Then you dunk this in water. This thing comes off. Your design stays on there. So before we go ahead and dunk this into an etchant solution, uh, we need to protect the backside of your black brass plate uh, with some packing tape uh, or some other kind of tape to prevent the etchant from eating, you know, the wrong side of the board. Then you dunk it in some etchant. Uh, you can either use um, copper chloride like what I have up here, or you could use like the stuff from Radio Shack, ferric chloride, um, and that works the best. Uh, because basically the, the advantage of that uh, copper chloride stuff is that you can recharge it with air once you've etched but you know brass is not pure copper so it'll contaminate your precious solution so just use the disposable ferric chloride one you can get it for a couple bucks at Radio Shack so anyway dunk this in there wait for you know a couple hours even um, depending on the thickness of your of your brass plate wait a while it'll etch um, you know, down to whatever thickness you want. Then take it out, rinse it with water a lot. Then once it's fully dry, spray paint it with, you know, maybe three or four coats um, of, of flat black or whatever color you want really, but I find flat black works the best. Let it dry fully, it's very important, so maybe even two days. Then you take your sandpaper, Put it on a flat surface, that's important, or use a sanding block. Take the painted side and basically start sanding. Eventually you will wear the paint down to uh, the brass where the toner has protected the brass from being etched because, you know, the part that has been protected is, you know, say this tall, and then the part that you have etched will be this tall, so they will be protected from the sanding. And then once that's done, clean it off, spray paint it with a few coats of lacquer, 
and just to prevent things from tarnishing and give it a nice shine and there you go you have a totally sweet plaque hope that made sense uh, if it didn't well let me know in the comments and I'll try to amend the video but it uh, should be really simple if you've made circuit boards at home if you haven't well I'll read through you know the various documents online on how to actually etch PCBs and it should become very clear to you there's a couple options you can use like for instance you can use magazine paper instead of this good stuff uh, you could use an iron instead of a laminator uh, what else various etching solutions you know various small things but there's the general plan happy hacking guys and girls of course